I'm a realtor, so yeah, I'm an alcoholic. Yes! This is great! I bought this for a movie. Oh! No way! <laughs> Do you think these interest rates will go down anytime soon? It's crazy, because I left my crystal ball in my office. I'm famous and oh. single. Oh, I never got to do that! Yeah! Yes! Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Everybody Loves Tom. I'm really excited today because we have one of the most successful luxury real estate agents in the world and also a fellow Bravo celebrity, ladies and gentlemen, Josh Altman. Woo. What's Million up, dude? Listing. How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you too. I think the last time I saw you was uh, maybe BravoCon last year. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I see you on TV, but yeah, yeah. It's, we don't... It, yeah, I don't... Uh, we don't run into uh, a lot of fellow Bravo celebrities yeah. often because we're all like in our own little world. Yes. It's yeah. funny. Those worlds are like very small. Yeah. Even though they're next door to each other. But <laughs> exactly. yeah. They're like alternate universes. We're, yeah. But we're in the multiverse. <laughs> Bravo universe. <laughs> the multiverse. <laughs> of, of, of Bravo. <laughs> uh, well, so I'm, I'm pumped to be here. Th dude, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I made you a cocktail. Yeah, what do we got? I saw this. I saw you putting this together. It's uh, it's called the Luxury High Rise. Oh, all right. It, it all was right. one of the very first cocktails I created. Um, it's 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 a polarizing Ooh, drink. It's yeah, made with uh, yeah, uh, Disarono, which is an amaretto, uh, Goldschlager, which has the gold flakes, hence the luxury. So it's a cinnamon Ooh, vodka. Yes, gold, gold, baby, gold. And then we the, love gold. <laughs> the high rise is the uh, is the Red Bull. So, All right, well, to wow. the penthouse. To the penthouse. Yes. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Luxury. Cheers. All right. All right. I'm Cheers. excited Cheers. to uh, excited to try this. Goldschlager. I haven't had that since uh, Syracuse University. <laughs> that tells you when this drink was uh, conceptualized. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Good. This is great. Awesome. I it's thought really I was good. getting both when I sat down and then this guy sat down next <laughs> to me. Sorry. <laughs> Just give me that shit, it's man. It's yours. Yes. Damn you got to work. You're, you're no, working. No, you're right. Just playing oh, snoot on you here. You can hold it now, but you got to give it back to hey, me. It's all yours. <laughs> all right. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I didn't. I, I made get it. That, the ingredients? <laughs> we get that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, Tom and I are going to be running into each other a lot. Yes. <laughs> I created I created this drink because um, at the time I hated vodka rebels and I was like let's let's figure something else out that's that works so a more adult one yeah you yeah, know exactly. I go through so I I'm a realtor so yes I'm an alcoholic so <laughs> uh, you know breakfast brunch lunch dinner dinner all of it yeah and uh, uh, that is a problem that I have though through the years you get into a drink you start drinking it till you can't drink it anymore yeah and then you're off it it's like overnight you're i'm never drinking another vodka soda i'm never drinking another you know uh, uh tequila whatever it is this could be my next drink hell yeah yeah wow. so this will be your next uh because i've been struggling on it's a like, drink it's like you're, you're it's like you you date for a while you yes. date that drink for a while and then you get to the point where like you guys can't stand each other and then you break up <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or or you are engaged for over two years and your wedding gets called off on national TV because you try to do a major wedding and then you pull it back and you get married and you know either one yeah either yeah. one either way I don't know way. if you even knew that happened to me so so yeah you were you were getting ready to because I know what a giant massive fan of million dollar listing you are <laughs> <laughs> why don't I tell you Tom I actually he was just I, watching it before he got here I'm actually very <laughs> uh, I'm, shut the fuck up no he wasn't <laughs> really uh, reality TV is is quite triggering for me <laughs> like it's hard for me to watch okay. I get a lot of secondhand anxiety when I watch it so I I do kind of stay away from reality TV I'm more like I I, I like science shows um i like comedies and like uh, how it's made yes great show it is i think they're on episode seven thousand two hundred <laughs> yeah for yeah. real for real yeah. i like to watch that you know what? that's a very honest answer of you about reality tv that uh, it makes total sense yeah it stresses you out fuck yeah you pick the sides you're in it you're like you, you. You have to hate someone. You have to like somebody. It, it's. I always feel bad for whoever's going through it. Well, like I never. Yeah. I never like. I never. I'm like yeah, yeah. Like I'm always like oh, I have to like get up, walk out of the room. You know, like for instance, I'll give you an example. 
um, just like how much secondhand embarrassment I get. Like I, if I'm watching the movie Something About Mary and that part where like Ben Stiller like zips his balls up, you know, <laughs> it, like I have to like leave the room because of how like the the embar the secondhand embarrassment that I feel. See, I have to leave because it's so, because of the pain. Yeah, there's I that see. too. But coming from a guy on, so we're season fifteen. Oh, wow. Season, uh, I came on season uh, t two or three. Three. I came on season three. Coming from a guy who came on three and four and was much hated, right? They they never like the new guy, the new person. Oh, yeah. They don't like the, I, they say cocky, I say confident, whatever you want to say. But like I, I came in and ruffled feathers. <laughs> And I was, so I was hated for the first couple seasons. And it wasn't until uh, I sold, my parents gave me a referral to uh, a very sweet uh, older lady. She was 90. Whoa. And I go meet her at the condo and I'm selling it. And at the end of the day, I, I just couldn't charge her. Like I just said, I don't want any commission. I'll just help. It's like, you know, pr a pro bono. I do, you know, a few of those a year just for certain reasons, but. Um, Tax that off? Of course, yeah. Man. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but that's uh, all—that's amazing. That's, that's what really changed cool. it. And then after that, people were like, "Oh, wow, he's not an asshole." So that was my moment. No, but that's a, that's awesome. And yes, nobody ever likes the new person. Like every single person that comes on our show, um, that's not an OG cast member, whether yeah. they're dating an OG, they're like, "Oh, they're just dating that person to get on TV." They're yeah. just always it doesn't matter 100%. how they come across like how different they are from everyone else it's like it doesn't matter they're always accused of that for like at least a couple years i always try to explain that to them i said yeah, i always try to tell the new people coming on like hey you know don't don't take it too personally it's just gonna happen you yeah. know yeah um so you do, you have it's crazy like y you know you end up on a reality show obviously you know, you got into this business to be a real estate agent, and you're, you know, you're, you're a real estate agent for Justin Bieber, the Kardashians, uh, you know, James Cameron, uh, Scooter Braun, Britney Spears. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That was like whoa. I feel like I feel like people probably like tune into your Instagram a little bit like the way people kind of like like a little bit like the way people watch porn like a little. <laughs> Like, to jerk off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, no, I for sometimes sure. it's like, very jerk worthy material. I mean, up there. I sometimes twenty million, yeah, thirty million. <laughs> I end up on like Zillow and Redfin, just like <laughs> to jerk off. Yeah. To, that's yeah. funny. As a realtor, that's what I jerk off to. Yeah, but uh, other people go to my Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, you you yeah. you uh you definitely supply a lot to the spank bank. For we uh we we listen. We we love being the place where people go to either buy houses or dream, right? That's how I became a realtor. At the end of the day, when I had it was two thousand seven, my brother and I became pretty successful as, at a young age. Me through the uh, uh, through the mortgage business, and then my brother through the the talent agent business. And then, you know, we kept them flipping houses and that's how we got into real estate. And we were very successful, you know, nine for nine, 10 for 10, 11th, wow. and then the 12th one, we bought this castle in I the heard Hollywood about Hills. This. A castle. But a castle. And uh, yeah. Where's this we, castle located? Right around Mount Olympus. So go okay. up Laurel. It was on a street called Fairhome. Okay. And uh, we bought this castle. It was two owner suites that were the same size. And uh, that's why we bought the house. Anyways, we ended up losing everything. Uh, and so I was, I think- This was during the, the, the crash. The crash. So we were super successful. 2007 came around, lost everything, had to shut down the business, got the everything, the cars taken away from us. Oh man. Uh, and Ooh. I remember- I what that's like. The only thing we were able to do, which we, we, we wanted to stay busy, was we used to go around and see houses on Sundays to help, mo it was my brother and I, that was it, that's all we had. And we were living these houses out of our suitcase because we flipped them, like we were super low maintenance. We would go to open houses on Sundays to dream about being successful once again and motivate ourselves internally by walking through these houses because that was something that motivated us. So that's like what Jim Carrey used to do. He would uh, he would go up to the Hollywood Hills, he, he, write, he wrote himself a million dollar check and he would go up in the Hollywood, he'd go up on Mulholland and, and look over and he would imagine himself a very successful actor and stare at really? that million dollar check, yeah. 
I like that. I never yeah. heard that. Yeah, I read Very that. Very cool uh, biography. But anyways, carry on. No, so that w- that was it. So uh, eventually, we got into real estate because we love doing it so much. We realized, okay, it's not about the money; it's about loving what you do, and the money will come. Because we did stuff before, not necessarily because we loved it, but because we wanted to make money, and that's how we be- we got into the agent side of the business. And you know, since then, it- it- the rest is history. But that's how it all started. And that's what what I'm bringing it back to is on my Instagram, for instance, people go and they like to dream. So they see the newest listing, they get to tour it. Um, if that helps put a smile on someone's face in wherever America or globally after they had a tough day, then cool. Yeah. I got two goals in life. Sell the house and make other people happy who don't buy that house. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Cause I mean, I love looking at other houses. Like I, even some that like you know you can tell were owned by somebody who was like maybe a pro ball player in the late 90s who has like a you know bowling alley by the yeah by the swimming pool yeah by like- <laughs> jordan's house it's yeah on the mar- yeah in chicago yeah. it's on the market yeah um but also you know as a real estate agent and a vanderpump rules fan we were sitting there and you know she's like oh and we saw the year that all you guys stepped up because you all started getting these houses and you know of course we noticed that type of stuff Mm -hmm. and we know all the houses you guys got because that's our job to know everyone's house and uh uh, i was like it's awesome like i was pumped for you guys and uh it was cool seeing you all come up yeah we were kind of ariana and i were kind of sort of the trailblazers on that front everybody else was like you know at that point i think jacks had like and Brittany had just moved into the same apartment complex as, you know, uh, Tom and Katie. And, you know, I've been living in the same one rent control place for so long. I mean, that place hadn't been repainted. The exterior of that place hasn't been repainted in, I, I, I would say, 30 years. Um, but, yeah, we found a house and moved into it. And then once we did, everybody's like, yeah, like, I guess we could do this. And I told every, our cast members, I was like, you guys, like, the show might not last yeah. forever. Yeah. You need to buy something before the show ends while you're showing this income so yeah. you can get a loan. Otherwise, no, you're yeah. fucked. Can you repeat that again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, no, that was amazing. And then, and then, of course, it went up even more because you guys bought it at the right time. I remember all this stuff. And then you we know, got very lucky. The yeah, house we went, bought, Oof. yeah, the house we bought, um, you know, was on the market for a minute. The guy who made the house or who built the house, you could tell had like a big ego in a good way where he's like, everything in this house is built perfectly. Like, yeah. you know, because you go and look at these houses. <laughs> And in pictures, like they got a lot of curb value, and then you get in them, and like shit's not lining up. Oh yeah, no, no, we're professional photographers as well as realtors. <laughs> oh yeah, I can make any shithole look amazing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with the right light. When in yeah. doubt, twilight shot. Uh, face twilight. tune. You, face tune. That's that's the the real estate face tune. <laughs> Although you can't really, you have to be careful with that. You can't really mess with too much because then it's you know. Yeah, and they come in there like a huge letdown. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want them to be let down. Yeah. Right? But you also just want to show enough to get them there. Like I go on, I go on the, the, uh, any of the real estate sites and, you know, new listing and it's 72 pictures. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Like there should be a rule. It should only be 12 because that's enough to get you excited to want to go see it. Like, cause by, you know, picture 32, you're off it. Yeah. Right, you can find anything wrong if you keep looking at pictures. I like all the pictures. You do. <laughs> I do. And when I don't see a picture, I'm like, why don't they have that <laughs> in the picture? <laughs> That's actually okay. That only works with one thing: if you don't have a front shot of the house. Because that's the most important, right? What are you going to start start off a listing with? The house, the cup, the, the front. So uh, if they don't have the front, that's when you need to be concerned. More yeah. than anything else, I think. When I don't see uh, a picture of the main bedroom closet, I get very worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a valid concern. Yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of clothes. You got a lot of clothes. I have a lot of. We, I'm sure you yeah. do too, as well. I spent a lot. I spent a lot of money on clothes. We, exactly. We don't have as men. We don't have a rent the runway. 
it's kind of yes. it's kind of bullshit. Like I would love if there was a place where you could rent clothes because like you can only wear these suits, especially if they're like a little bit more flamboyant, whatever. You can only wear them a few times. Yes, you know, like, right? Yeah, and, like I'll never wear this again. This will go off. <laughs> like I wore this Tom Sandoval show. <laughs> like that's it. Yeah, um, I actually kept the, kept the tag on it just in case, you know. <laughs> or maybe I'll just return it. I don't I know. I actually have the tag on this one. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I bought this for Hold a on. movie. Run. No way. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I will I wear just, this next week. I and just then the bought week after this. That. Literally bought it. Express didn't even have time to take it off. Wow. That's but, so on the fence. I haven't done that in a while. I, I'm no, I'm not going to return it, though. I'm not going to return it. I'm probably not going to return yeah, this yeah. either. Casey's going to return it. My assistant will return mine. Um, oh, that's that's, so... that's funny. You're a funny guy. You're a funny guy. <laughs> oh oh man, God. how you been, bro? I saw uh, uh, I saw one episode that was that was just I wanted to see it because there is a billboard outside of my gym on Sunset uh, where it's the the adventure show where you went Special Forces Special Forces, and it's right outside of my Ooh. gym. So every morning I roll up to my gym. I'm like, fuck. I would not do that because it's just you yeah. on some rope. Yeah. You know the billboard on Sunset. Oh yeah, like uh, in the middle of I don't even like two mountains. And I was I always I was like, man, would I do that? And then I pull into my gym and I don't do it. And uh, <laughs> uh, how was that? Uh well, that was uh, all together overall. It was uh, it was extremely hard physically, mentally. Um, one of the hardest things I've ever done. I mean, probably the hardest thing I've ever done. It was, uh, you know, they, those things were hard. Yeah. For sure, scary. Um, you know, I, you, I've learned through like bungee jumping and, and skydiving and things like that, that you, you don't go to the edge and you don't look down. You, you just know? go. You just go, you look ahead of you, you stay focused on the things in front of you. Like, especially when we're doing the trinasium, the very first thing that we did where we if you look down on these two it's like a railroad track yeah that was the one i saw the first episode okay yeah yeah if you yeah, look down one. you yeah i won't do it i don't know like <laughs> did they pay you yeah okay uh, maybe i do it but they pay you the same amount whether you stay in it or not yeah. <laughs> did at any point you were like i could did you feel like you could die or it was just like i gotta get through this it's gonna be tough and that's that um I more so felt like my heart might give out um, at times because oh, they geez. they like worked us so hard. That's the part that was to me so challenging. Um, but of course, during some of these physical challenges, yes, that thought does cross your mind. Yeah, and you do tense up. Um, but looking down through that trinasium, you know, you will try to focus on you know those two two bars or whatever, but. You end up focusing on the Ugh. ground. So what happens is the bars will jump up in your vision, and it like, it like blurs your vision. Like it's crazy. It fucks with your your depth perception. Like uh, nothing I've ever experienced. How long was it? It was. Uh, it it sounds like nothing, but it was it was eight days total. Okay. Okay. Um, but they were the longest eight days because we didn't find out until later that you know the DS the the uh, directing staff weren't watching us so we thought you know at any point in time like i only took one shower while i was there um i never fully rarely ever got undressed and if i did it was like immediately put my clothes back on right call you out to that parade square at any time and you had to be out, had to be ready and you had to be matching Insane. everyone had to match like one person wouldn't have their their beanie and it's like nobody would wear their beanie would then. you do it again <clears throat> hell yeah okay all right there you go there you yeah. go yeah Nice. And when you when you get pushed, like it reminds me of when I wrestled in high school. Like our coach would run us so hard, um, that like being pushed past your comfort zone physically, you know, it there, it does something to you. It, the feeling of of uh, uh, gra gratification that you get knowing that you've gone that hard is uh, it's pretty it's pretty magical. Oh yeah. It's pretty yeah. amazing. That's good, man. That's good you did it. I think it's important to push yourself I, it was, out of your comfort zone. For yeah, sure. it was something that I felt like I needed, you know, with everything going on in my life. Like, there was a lot of noise, a lot of things, and I needed to get away from that to, like, spend some time to really focus on, like, things that had happened, what I need to do. And also, yes, 
I did want to get my ass kicked a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. That's you know? always good. All right. Well, good stuff, man. I'm glad you 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 came out of that on top, and uh, you know, and you're in a good place right now. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. We're building a house in Vegas, so I, I'm oh, actually sweet. I'm going a little earlier to go you know go through the plans and i think we're you know about to just get our permits which we're excited about um so i'm going to deal with that type of business when i'm there do you see a lot of people in la going out to vegas like moving there and stuff yeah i'm seeing a lot of people move out of la they're either moving down to uh places like vegas obviously uh texas tennessee florida uh, you know, we bought down in Newport Beach, which I have a lot of clients that are doing that as well. Um, so yeah, we're seeing it everywhere, but definitely Vegas is one of them. Yeah, the sure. market is just crazy here. I mean, do you have any advice for people who think they'll never like be able to afford a house here in LA? So yeah, it's 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 been a tough year. It's been a tough year for real estate all around, but also just, you know, of course, with the rates going up and everything. I mean, imagine somebody looking at houses last year at this time, right? And they're like, oh, here is, let's just use a million dollar house, for example. Here's a million dollar house at 2%. You're like, oh, okay, cool. And then it goes up to 8%. Those same people that used to be able to afford a, you know, a million dollar house can only afford a $300,000 house. So think about the mental part of that where you're seeing all these houses you didn't buy you missed the boat and now you're never going to see a house as good as the one you could have gotten so the mental game of real estate right now is really difficult especially also with the sellers because if they had finished their house or decided to sell a year before they could have gotten millions more and so yeah. it's tough for them also to wrap their head around it. So that's really what we're dealing with right now is people coming to terms with the reality of this market. There's been some things in LA, in California uh, that have changed law wise. Like there's the ULA measure, which in Los Angeles now, if you sell your house uh, above $5 million, you gotta pay uh, $200,000 more in tax. If you sell it over 10 million, you gotta pay you know, a 250 something thousand over. So. Uh, that's not a good tax for people in uh, uh, in those houses, and they're upset. And then, you know, there's other measures that have gotten passed, too. I'm not here to talk about politics, but, yeah, it's a tough market out there. Do you think, um, do you think that uh, – do you think these interest rates will go down anytime soon? I'm sure you get asked that a Yeah, yeah, it's crazy because I left my <laughs> crystal ball in my office. You now, did? Uh, Shoot. Yeah, yeah. We told you to bring it. Yeah, no. Um, do I think this – yeah, I do think they're going to go down, but not for 24 months. So – uh, uh, if you, you know, are not in that position to deal with the, what the current market is right now, just rent for a little while. So, uh, every time I, I see you where, you know, we're in situations where it has to do with Bravo or this or that, I'm like, what up, bro? You're like, what up? We've never actually talked before. We've never, any, yeah, any of that cheers. stuff. Hey, cheers, man. I, and I do want it. So this is your Tom's good loving. Mm-hmm. Mm. You want to try some? No, I'm going to take one home for sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. fuck Hell yeah. yeah. You think I drove out to the valley for nothing, bro? We're playing <laughs> bourbon. Dude, this one, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for you to try this. Okay. It's so good. Yeah, actually, let's taste that too. Uh, yeah. Let's ta yeah, let's taste an open one, and then I'll bring a closed one. Okay. So we're opening in uh, our office launch in Newport Beach. We just opened another office down there. We did it completely different. We, we decided that no one wants to go to the office anymore, right? Yeah. So we designed uh, a real estate kind of real estate hangout okay so all my agents everything there's so no it's like a pool party yeah there's no pool party <laughs> <laughs> there's Bring no desk there's trunks. like floaties it's like <laughs> pool <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That, write that down um so it's like uh yeah it's like going to craig's right they're booths where people can plug nice. into no desk we didn't want okay. the office feel and the centerpiece is this giant beautiful you know, insane green slab of stone that I only looked through 70,000 pieces of slab to get. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but behind us is we're going to have room for alcohol. Okay. Why don't we get a bunch of this and just line it up there? I would love that. Yeah, because awesome. we drink, yeah. realtors drink, friends come in to drink with realtors. You know, they all feel bad for us, especially in this market. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what I was going to say was this. I, so you don't know this, but back in the day, my wife, who was my enemy's assistant, and I was talking to your crew about this, you know, I ended up, I ended up, you know, sleeping with her to annoy my enemy. Jesus. To really, to really <laughs> piss off my enemy. Wow. Yeah. And because I was like, what else can I do? I can steal a listing. I can steal a client. But like, how what can I? What made this? What made this guy your enemy? 
uh, he was the complete just opposite of me. And uh, like flip flops, Malibu, like chill. And I was like this East Coast aggressive animal, right? That came in. I'm not that guy anymore. Well, because I live out here, but not, 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 not <laughs> okay. But anyways, we just didn't like each other. And big shout out to all my clients in Malibu with flip flops and chill. <laughs> I love you guys. It's not what it is. Yeah, you know. So, um, anyways, we ended up. You know, we fell in love. Of course, she's my wife. And so we uh, we were gonna get married, and we're like, oh, we're gonna get married on TV. And I'm like, yeah, we're gonna tax right off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it is. You know me. I'm because uh, you know I'm on a show called Million Dollar Listing. I have no choice but to send every spend every cent, not only what the show pays us, yeah, but more just to like go big, right? Because yeah. that's what people tune in for. Yes. Yeah. It just investment wise, you know, we'll go there another time. So I'm like, all right, yeah, honey, we're gonna have a great wedding, and uh, I invite 400 clients to my wedding because you know I got to make sure everybody's there. It's gonna be this big thing. 400. That's a big wedding. It's a big wedding. So we start. 400 clients? Yeah, because, you what know. What about family? Well, no, I mean, they're, yeah, <laughs> friends or family or clients, they're all the same. You know, okay. it's all, listen, okay. you buy a house from me, I'm your fucking best friend. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm on your speed dial. Anything you need, I'm there. And especially when you buy an There's expensive still speed house. Dial? <laughs> <laughs> I had a fucking Gen Z. Speed dial? I Can had you Google that? I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I, had a, I had a Gen Z say speed dial. Like, she was like, oh, yeah, my, uh, my brother is on speed dial. I was like, do you even know what speed dial is? Favorites. Favorites. Okay, okay. okay. Favorites. I'll be on your favorite. <laughs> yeah, so we had this whole big thing planned, and it got out of control, and we were fighting a lot because it ended up being, you know, it, it wasn't about us anymore in our special day. It was about making sure everybody else was happy. Yeah. It feels like a fucking club appearance. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I actually have a club appearance coming up. <laughs> Can I go with you to one of those, please? Hell yeah. Yeah. I don't get those calls. I'm like, hey, would you like to speak about refinancing mortgages? But that's so much cooler. Okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say, bro. Oh. So <laughs> I went I went on a club appearance once uh with my my boy Scott Disick and we had a great fucking time and uh that was the last one I went on. They just don't call me for that stuff. I like I like bringing other people on club appearances. Okay. It's fun. All right. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Okay. All right. I'm in. I'm coming. Um <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we ended up canceling the wedding because we started fighting so much and it became this whole thing we cancel. And it's one thing to cancel your wedding, it's another thing to cancel on national TV. Right, so then it became this whole big thing. I don't know why I'm telling you this story. I actually, I love it. I this literally is good forgot. content for the show, though. Okay, fine. So you know, oh, for your show, this my, is great content for your show. Yes, yes, yes. Tune in if you missed it. <laughs> if you missed it twelve years ago. Yeah, what season is this on? Episode? <laughs> uh, you probably could assume we got married, seeing that I have what two happened? children <laughs> with her. Uh, but yeah. Um, anyways, that's that. So, so I'm excited for you about this. Yeah. Yeah, this whole thing. I think it's great. I, I, I like your crew here. I think it's fun. It's a good environment. And uh, Thanks, I think man. you'll knock it out of the park. I don't know who reached out to me, but I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I never do podcasts. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I do them and I don't do them. Now that I'm on one, it's kind of like, a, you know. Well, now you got to do, you got to pay to play. You got yeah. to go do Yeah, that. exactly. Like, yeah. Right. It's like now now that I'm on OnlyFans, you know, if I want somebody <laughs> to come do my OnlyFans, I have to go to their OnlyFans. Yeah. What is, so I'm I've just never kidding, been, I'm oh, I've never but I've heard been somebody, <laughs> I heard somebody like say that to me and I was like, wow, it's like a podcast. Like, you know, come do. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you not to drink that shit. Come oh, do shit, my so OnlYfans, I'll come do your OnlyFans. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. You want to know how I, first, you want to know how I found out about OnlyFans? How I get a call, and you you know you can tell you're like that, that young lady couldn't be older than you know nineteen twenty. You just know like, hey, so I wanted to see some houses, and I'm like, okay, cool. What are you looking for? You know, I you, I got to qualify them over the phone. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm looking between like six and seven million. I was like, you sound young. Just curious. Uh, uh, so what do you do? And she's like, I'm on OnlyFans. And so that was the first time a couple years ago I heard about OnlyFans, and I'm like, you know, I was like, what the fuck is OnlyFans? And I look at it, and I was like, got it, pick you up right away. And no, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. But it was it, 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 and and that was like my my first realization of how much money some people are making on OnlyFans, and how like insane of a business that is. And yeah, yeah 
And uh, I ended up finding out that it actually wasn't her paying for the house. It was someone who was a big fan of her only fan. Jesus. And uh, yeah, yeah. I, that's whoever you know, that is must be like awesome. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> Awesomely wealthy. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. What, what I got a question. Yeah. What what is your hey, what what's is, your name? I'm Jason, by the Pleasure way. Pleasure to meet hey, you. Nice good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Jason like... is Jason is not only one of the producers of this show, he's uh uh my drummer in the band, or oh, our the drummer band? in the band, I'm in the band yeah. the and also the manager of the band, and the manager of the band. Oh, he's double dipping. Yeah, triple actually. <sighs> Do it a lot. Uh, most of the jam. I love it, man. Who, who do we? Uh, we sold. Uh, I'm trying to think of just famous drummers that we've sold houses to. Yeah. Well, who was your first celebrity? First Over. celebrity I ever sold. Yeah, yeah. You gotta remember that one. Yeah. Well, I, I always give a huge shout out to Kim Kardashian because she was one of the first that trusted us with her real estate and we've been selling her houses since. And, you know, I mean, just watching what she's doing is amazing. Yeah. And she introduced us to a lot of people. Wow. Um, but and yeah, also we, gave you like a lot of credibility. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Hardest working person I've ever met. Yeah, um, it's a very smart, hardworking family. Another level, general. another level. Yeah. I'm trying to think who it was. No, nah, never. Uh, I was I was thinking Slash, but he's a guitar. Forget it. Yeah, that's Forget still it. Yeah. that's still in yeah. in the in the general yes, area. Though. Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Well, What's no, I was gonna say, you know, you've done sold so many of these amazing homes. What is in your as a buyer, because you're usually the seller. What is your dream home? What are you looking for when you're in the buyer? Secret passageway. Free. Free. <laughs> Free. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm looking. Uh, so we sell. Uh, we sell some crazy numbers, and we've built this machine over mm -hmm. a, a, a lot of years. And you know, since you know, I was in the mortgage business, and then flipping houses, yeah. and then of course from 2008 on, I was a real estate agent. We sell four million dollars worth of real estate every single day of the year for the last thousand days. Wow! Uh, so about a billion and a half a year. Jesus! And so we we sell a lot of things, look at a lot of things. I like you guys see me on the show. You're like, oh, he's just a reality guy, but like. I actually really see 12 houses every single day of my oh life. My you know, wow. sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but I'm working all day and I'm gonna be working tonight. I'm showing houses. Some people wanna see them first thing in the morning when the sun comes up. Other people wanna see them at night when the sun goes down, whatever it is. I'm shooting photography, I'm staging and I'm showing it, whatever, and, I, and we're growing, right? We What's got, that wow. staging warehouse look like that you have? Oh yeah, oh no, it's not mine, trust me. I've looked at that business and, and investing into it. You, you need a lot of square footage for that business. Yeah. Yeah, you wow. gotta have like football field of, of warehouses like an hour away from here. Um, yeah, man. So you look, it's funny. So I've been in, I typically moved every 12 months because you fall in love with different styles, just like your hair might change or your clothes okay. might change because you see all these things. You're like, and you move oh. that often. So I used to. And then of course you get married. It slows down to like a year and a half. And then you get kids and you're like never moving again. <laughs> so, uh, so I've been in many, many houses in LA. I, I'm a Boston boy, born and raised. I'm very attracted to the East Coast traditional style. That's kind of my vibe, if I had to choose. Like, well, what, was, what does that entail? Like, a lot of light, bright, traditional, homey type homes. Like, uh, uh, kitchen, living room, and dining room. A lot of them- Two levels. Like, no, yeah, two levels, open up to everything where, we spend majority of our time in our kitchen. Like that's just what we do. The kids sit around the counter, you know, we're, we're always there. So it's just a real homey type. It, you know, there's, there was a moment there when, you know, I wanted the concrete, super modern, sexy views, like, you okay. know, the after party at my house type of thing. But those were yeah, the old yeah. days. So you, you, you change throughout your life on your styles of houses. Like we're building something in Vegas. It's gonna be very earthy tone kind of, uh, uh, what's that resort? Oh, Tulum. Okay, like very Tulum oh, very vibe. Cool. Very cool. Uh, in Miami, we have something that we're building that is going to be a little more like penthouse, uh, warm, modern. Uh, here I live in a traditional uh, Newport's very. It's yachty. 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 <laughs> yachty. Yeah. So we're actually uh, we're 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 creating the inside of our house to look like a yacht. Wow. I know. I know. That's pretty. You think uh, of like a lot of portholes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's funny you, you said that. Shiny wood. Shiny wood. Shiny wood. 
everything's shiny. Like, everything's round like, window. Shiny. Yeah. <laughs> everything's fucking glued it's shiny down. Shiny wood. Yeah. Yeah. That shiny like boat wood. Yeah. You know, that you gotta you know. It's great because you can, you don't need coasters on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. I had a shiny wood bedroom set and that shit was like indestructible. Man. This is lacquered like to fucking high hell. Oh man. <laughs> uh, where are you from originally? I'm from St. Louis originally. Oh, Missouri. Yeah, and I moved. Uh, I never went to college. I I moved to Chicago when I was like 18. Uh, to pursue acting and I had a modeling agency there and I started I started modeling when I was like 15 16 and then I like went from there to Miami uh, m modeled out there like for s the the season which is like the winter where they pre-shoot all the spring break and summer stuff and then I would bounce back and forth from New York and Miami uh, modeling sort of sort of pu putting off the acting what I really wanted to do putting yeah. off the move to LA and then I finally moved to LA and uh, I've been here ever since, and I ended up uh, on a reality show. There after you working go, at sir. Yeah, yeah, I never got that modeling call. <laughs> yeah, just didn't come through. Yeah, <laughs> didn't come through. You know, it was like. Do you know what? You know what's crazy is, there's like, I I remember like, seeing these guys. They like they they they're like the Santas. They make like a killing during the holidays. <laughs> the Santas. And then also. Like there's this thing called man money, and it's like when you go from like being a boy to like a man, like when, like you start getting the salt and pepper hair. Like so, there would be like these guy models that would like specifically man try to. Dude, do you see this? Yeah, you're like not even. You're like barely. No, that's called kids. Yeah, <laughs> that's called kids, dude. Yeah. Just enjoy your time right now. Kids are the best ever. Yeah. But enjoy your time. Trust I'm enjoying me. it, man. This is my first time being you're single. You're lucky if you get. Oh yeah. 15 years. I'm famous and oh, single. Oh, I never got to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, famous. It. Everyone <laughs> asked me that, and uh, yeah, no, I got on my show, and that was year one when I started hooking up with Heather. I never got to be. I don't know if I call myself famous, but on TV. No. Yeah. Like. And 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 single. Yeah. I know it's probably better off. It's, it's probably <laughs> better off. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's it's been it's been fun. I gotta say. <laughs> Why'd you not tell me about it? Just because. Oh, know, okay. It's yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm sure it's yeah, it's horrible, horrible. But yeah, yeah. it's horrible. Um, so, I'm just uh, curious. You know, when you first got on your show, I'm sure you were a little apprehensive. You know, did you did you have some things going into it where like you um like for instance. When we first started Vanderpump Rules, we were all like a group of friends, and we thought like, okay, it's gonna be like probably a little put on. So like, let's have like a code word. Yeah, of course. Like, uh, you know, don't talk about this or like, yeah. or like you're being. We were like under this impression that like things were gonna be bugged or like whatever or that we we're gonna surprise people. So yeah, we had this like code word like vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> then, like, I definitely. That's. I'm glad you guys did that. That actually makes me laugh because, uh, that's what I thought too going into it. I was yeah. like, okay. First of all, I sat in these interviews and it was like, you know, when I was getting trying to get the gig, and uh, you know, it, you know, chest out, cocky East Coast kid, like talking shit about everyone, and you know, of course, you step it up. Like when I film, um. You know, triple shot of espresso, let's go, two hours, and then I'm done. Like, it's it's you, if you operate on a level of whatever, 70, 80, 90%, when you're filming, you're on 110%, always, right? And with me, I can't slip because it's millions of dollars of, you know, houses and, and commissions and this, and that we're trying to outsmart each other. Yeah, your business is very much intertwined. Ours, it's more of like the, the like, it's... I always say it's having the one conversation with the one person you don't want to have it with. Yeah. And ours yeah. is like very much like a like hurry up and like wait in a sense of like you're waiting for that moment. You know you gotta have yeah, that but conversation you do it with this so person. Good. Oh, you do it so good. I <laughs> fucking hate it. Oh, I know, but when we're sitting in the couches watching and we're like, ooh, you know? <laughs> People you know say, I mean? you know, that's the reason why I've used the words like, you know, and uh, yeah. filler words because you're just really trying to soften the blow of the Avoid shit you're saying. All. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know? You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh... I'm fucking there, man. <laughs> and so, so. Uh, <laughs> I need a manager. 
<laughs> you, want, you want to book me too? Yeah, yeah anyway, let's there go. You go. Let's go. Get I want to be right booked now. at the same club appearances as Tom. Yeah, we'll get you there. We're going to be in Just Chicago in uh, early November. Fine. Do you, want, do you want to try some uh, good loving? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, we are. Uh, so to answer your question, yes, I decided. Okay, I look at my brother. And I was like, should we do this show? Remember, we were just. We were just broke, oh, okay. right? We just lost everything we had two years before. And so we started coming out. We sold some like young celebrity houses just by chance. And we start coming up again. And uh, I decided to do the show. I was like, Matt, should I do the show? I just don't, you know, I've been broke once. Jeez. It's one thing to be broke twice. It's going to suck. Yeah. And uh, so... It's nice. Bad. It's nice. The caramel, the vanilla. With a cigar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I smoke cigars. Nice. Yeah, I, it's, I know it's bad, but I smoke cigars. That, that would be really good with the cigar. Um, so uh, I, I look, should I do it? I don't want to be broke again if we show the whole world what we're doing. He's like, just do it, and you'll be the face. And then if you mess up, I'll be the face. And so that was literally the conversation oh. with my brother and I because we're business partners. That's a pretty good idea. Everything in life is 50-50. Everything we do. Everyone's like, how do you split it up? It was like, from day one, listen, from when we were born, it was 50-50. It's just what it is. It's a good way to be in business. And uh, uh, yeah. I decided with the show, I'm not going to show any of my personal life. I'm only going to show business. And I remember it was like... I don't know, three, four, five weeks into it. And we filmed for a long time, much longer than you guys. We're, How long do you guys We're film? 10 months a year. What? Whoa. Twice a week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys do it uh, like condensed, which I actually would prefer, but 10 months a year, twice a week. Oh. And uh, the producer said, listen, we like, if you want to be known as an asshole, just do business. If you want people to relate to you, you have to show more. And uh, and then uh, they taught me about the word uh, vulnerabi vulnerability. <laughs> I can't say it. Vulnerable, vulner vulnerability. You're like I don't speak French. Yes, I go. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's not consistent with confident, right? And uh, uh, so that was a struggle for me. And so eventually, I showed that as well. You have to realize you guys were cool on your show to start. We hated each other to start. And so the, our show got more and more popular as we hated each other, fought with each other, screwed each other over. Then we were so we, we got to a level of where we are in business and we decided like, eh, life's too short. Maybe we shouldn't hate each other. Why don't we, you know, we kind of it's kind of fun, but like, I don't really hate you anymore. And so we became friends. And then people were like, love the friends part yeah and so we became friends more and more and then so that's kind of like that's a great arc that's yeah it's a good it's good because it kind of keeps it fresh and everything and it was true that's an interesting arc and yes there is also uh, you know confidence that comes from vulnerability you know like when you show your vulnerable side when you open up it's showing that you're confident and comfortable with with who you are in a way to where you're, you know, you don't feel like you have to, uh, you know, be perfect or be so tough or so strong all the time. You can show that side and be confident in who you are as a person because everybody is has their vulnerabilities, their shortcomings. Nobody is a, a hundred percent like if you're, you know, picking out the race car, you know, on the racing game. It's like some have that strong acceleration, some have that strong top speed, better yeah. handling. Like I feel like we're all like that, you know, and, I, and it makes you, you more relatable. You you sound like a guy who has been through it has come out on the other side and is very fucking intelligent Thanks, so man. i i no i'm serious i'm Thank serious you for saying that and uh uh for me when you have kids your life changes completely and so now i'm i'm in in a space where i could care less what anyone in the world thinks all i care about is my kids and my family yeah i'm sure and you realize very quickly it's not about how many houses you sold and who's got the most expensive listing and it's all not, that bullshit. Cause that's really what it is at the end of the day. It is no, bullshit. No, I, I, I no, yeah. And so, and so the best thing that ever happened to me is my kids. And, uh, that's a, uh I hear that a lot. So what you just people. said is true. And now it's, I love being vulnerable. Like, uh, isn't it uh, so liberating? Oh, I, I cry all the time. <laughs> that's good. I'm, I'm a softy. 
Uh, I've been through some shit over the past, like, you know, year and a half, just in like, whatever. We don't have to get into that stuff, but just it makes you grow as a person, but you learn what's important in life and your priorities get checked very quickly. I did what I had to do to get to where I am. And when I came out to LA, my brother and I, we didn't know anybody just like you, just like everybody else who came out here who wasn't connected. You know, yeah. we were two kids from Boston and you know, I started in the fucking mail room and I was trying to figure out who I am, what can I do? And you know, yeah, you gotta step on some people to get there, a lot of people. Uh, and you gotta get stabbed in the back and the front many times. And that makes you who you are, especially in a business that I'm in. Uh, but it's funny because now I try. I have fun with everything because life's so short, right? Like yeah. I have more fun with the show because it, 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 like I have the greatest gift ever, which is I'm able to show my kids uh, who are four and six years old. I can show them daddy's career from when I was a cocky young realtor yeah. till now is 100% televised. And, yeah. And at some wow. point, they're not ready yet, but at There's some point, really cool they're that. gonna watch that. And I met mommy on screen, and yeah. uh, my engagement was on screen, my wedding, my birth of, of our, of, of our oh. children. Like, so for that whole thing, it's totally different. It's, it's the greatest thing in the world. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they get I'm, to see I'm, the journey. I mean, yeah. that's, that is something that's really cool. And also, you know, your life is is celebrated and 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 sort of uh, respected and celebrated and, and and entertains people. Yeah, like there's something really cool about that. Like when people want to know about your personal life, they uh, they're they're fans. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And and it's like, listen, if people can dream and look at the houses we do, and that motivates just one person. Like we get emails. You know, I'm not trying to show up off, but like. Oh, we get we get a thousand emails a year of people. I became a realtor because of you. Like, that's it, awesome. It, like, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. There was no real estate majors. I mean, I'm older than you, but like, when I was in college, and you know, ninety seven to two thousand one, there were no real estate majors. No, we didn't have that. And then the show came out, and you know, it made it almost made being a realtor like it was sexy. It was cool. It was Hollywood. You know. Yeah. And now it's like. Hey, I'm I'm a real estate major. Like, it's just cool. It's cool watching the whole thing and people reaching out to us. And you know, I get to do these speaking engagements around the world. That uh, people afterwards are like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm a, they're like, oh, can I get a picture? How? What's it like? I was like, this is cool for me because I'm a realtor. Yeah. Like, I I'm a realtor. I'm like, I don't You're know. Like, I never thought any of this would happen. It did. Happen. Yeah. No. And, yeah. And I'm just. And afterwards, I'm, I'm still a realtor. And, yeah. Yeah. And that's one cool thing about being on a reality show too is like, you know, the reality is, you know, there's no like in a sense and I'm sure you've kind of realized this from like the beginning to now is like there's no real like winning. Like it's not about whether you sold the house. It's about the journey there. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what it's about. It's, it's so the funny journey. talking to another another, you know, reality star or whatever you want to call it it's it's funny because years in, i didn't realize that years into it it was always the bigger and the better yeah it's not about the house no it can be and i know these numbers are wacky to a lot of people around the country listening but like it could be a two million dollar house where we are right now or a 50 million dollar house it's about the story yes who are the sellers why are they selling like it's about the story yeah, that they care about, and and you know, so th at that point is when I kind of changed my whole, uh, a, a lot of stuff with filming because the pressure for us filming, knowing that so you don't want to look like the second best realtor on the show. Okay, yeah. it's re it's it's you know it's it it's different than yours. It's like it is a competition. It's an an ongoing marathon competition, and some seasons you win, some you lose, but you always want to make sure that like. You want to make sure you're you're seen as the realtor that everybody calls, right? So it, it, a lot of my business because of the show and what I sacrificed, I sacrificed my uh, my 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 privacy. Yes, I have no privacy. Yeah, like I I sacrifice all that stuff in order to be that person in Texas who watches the show, who wants to spend ten million in L.A. Like I, I need to make sure I'm the guy they call. 
Yeah. Right. So it's yeah. it's a competition like that, and it just. Uh, but, it's, but I'm sure it's some a lot of that. Pressure. I'm sure some of that has to do with like, okay, like we were saying, like whether you know you somebody might outsell you in a house, but you spent more time walking them through their options with who you sold your house, or like with what you did. You know, you spent more time walking them through, making them feel more yeah. comfortable. Uh, you know, less pressure. Uh, you know them e easing them into the situation i feel like that's that's a total win too it's important we uh realtors are shrinks yeah right we are we just are it's 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 you have to handhold somebody because it's such the a big, biggest investment, investment of their entire commitment. life <laughs> yeah, yeah it's 30 like, year commitment it's scary listen i remember the first time i bought a house i was scared it's a scary process like wait what what's a mortgage how much oh my god like when i found out we had, uh, uh, I was in the mail room and uh, I saved $5,000 to my name. My brother saved 5,000 to his name. And wow. it was 2000, uh, uh, it was 2002. And uh, we walked into a bank because I read like real estate for dummies. I mean, legit, <laughs> this is how it started. And I walked into the bank, we're like, yeah, we have, we have 10 grand, what can we get? And you know, you go through this process. I'm like, wait. You're gonna lend me three hundred thousand dollars <laughs> for ten grand? I look at Matt. I'm like, we're rich. We're rich. You know, not knowing that that's actually not our money. It's their money, and if we don't pay, our place is theirs. And like, but like, you go through this process, and I was so confused because I didn't even know what that was. And uh, so to be able to have gone through all of that, first of all, making a lot of money and going broke and then making money again, that that's very important. Uh, uh, winning and losing, obviously you get the, t the tough skin that goes along with it. Flipping houses, financing houses, and selling houses. I know- I'm Sure it makes you more fearless. Each part fearless, but also really understanding your, your, your client. Yeah. If you don't understand your client, then you know what's to stop them from calling somebody else? So the hand-holding process from day one till it's done is it's freaking intense. I know my real estate agents definitely. They, Who's they, your real estate agent, Jesse? No, my friend uh, Doug. Okay. Doug and his wife Ashley. Doug okay, Long. cool. Yeah, they, I've known him since I was four years old. And that's awesome that you're loyal to all the people out there that did not call <laughs> Josh. No, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool, and that's and that's the way to do it. You know, it's 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 get someone you trust yeah. that treats your money like it's their money. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. in this environment, realtors are getting freaking creamed right now. Like, listen, it's it's tough out there. I'm sure and, it is. Uh, uh, I'm sure it is too here. In yeah, LA. so you got to make sure you have somebody who's in it for you, not in it for just to make a commission. Yeah. Can I get another drink? Yeah. <laughs> fact, let's wrap up. I'll make you one. Um, but, Josh, it was so awesome having you. Let's do it. So amazing to hear all your insight and uh, to commiserate on being on uh, Bravo and a reality show together. Um, yeah, man. It's a uh, pleasure being luck. here. It's a pleasure talking to you and getting, you know, past that part of just uh, hanging with you for literally 30 seconds saying what's up while you're, while people are in line to take picture of you yeah. and then my much smaller line to take picture <laughs> of me. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing you in Vegas. Hell uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, looking forward to hanging and good luck with everything. Let me know if you need anything. I will. Hey, and, uh, let's get those cool. Cheers. Yeah, hell yeah. Right, luxury high rise. Cheers. Yeah. Luxury Cheers. high rise.